Hi everyone, in today's quick tip video with regards to Embrilliance Essentials, I'm going to show you how you can add custom size names to your hoops in Embrilliance Essentials. So I've opened Embrilliance Essentials with a new blank page and just for clarification, if you come up to the view icon, make sure you've got all the same settings selected here as I have got. And also under manage views, make sure you've got all these ticked. And that way your Embrilliance Essentials should look the same as mine. So to give your hoops custom names so that you can identify them, if you come up to the yellow properties box and select that, now again, this may or may not be open here. Um, what, you, what you're looking for is environment and there'll be this arrow or possibly it might be a plus if you're on Windows. I use a Mac, it may look slightly different, but you're looking for the environment heading. You click on the drop down arrow or the plus, size, plus sign, whichever you have got, and you come to hoops. I now use a Brother V5 LE, which uses the PES format. So again, in here with the drop down arrow, I have selected PES. If you use Genomi, you select JEF or whatever file format your sewing machine uses. Once you select that option, you need to click apply. And that way, once you close the program down, and the next time you open it, it will automatically always open with PES selected. Now, I currently only have two hoops for my new machine. I have an 8x12 and a 4x4. But irrespective of the fact that in Embrilliance Essentials, I have my um, preferences set in inches, the hoop sizes in here under Environment and Hoops automatically show in millimeters and it can get a little bit confusing. So I mostly use my biggest hoop, which is my eight by 12. So if you're in a different format from me, your hoop sizes or the hoop sizes that are available for the file format that you use will show up here. So as I said, I'm in PES, which is the brother file format and all these hoops that are listed in here are all the hoops that are available for Brother Machines. So I need to just scroll through this list and find my eight by 12 hoop, which is a 200 by 300 millimeter. So once I've selected it, I click apply and say, okay. And now I've done that, when I close this program down and then reopen it, it will automatically open in my PES file format with my eight by 12 hoop. So how do you change the name so that you can recognize it more easily? So come back to your properties box and once you've got your hoop selected, come over here to where it says edit and that will bring up this new little box and it says new hoop and it shows you the name of the hoop that you've already got selected and it shows you the size in millimeters. So what you can do, you can either delete the size that's here and you can type eight by 12 and you can click OK and apply and OK. So now when you come back to properties, you'll see it says eight by 12 or you can go back to edit and you can say it's 200 millimeters by 300 millimeters and then you can add I'm just going to put this in brackets you don't need to I'm going to add 8 by 12 close brackets say OK apply and OK and you can see now that the default size in millimeters is back and I've got 8 by 12 so if I want to rename my 4 by 4 hoop I come back to the properties box I need to find my 4x4 four four hoop in millimetres, which is 100 by 100. And when I select it, it will also show down here. It says 
sewing field width and height 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters or approximately four by four so that's how i know what it is in inches i could click on this one 160 by 260 and it will tell me that it's approximately six by ten but rather than having to keep clicking on it and looking down here if you select it and go to edit and then again i'm just going to do brackets and do four by four close brackets, say OK, apply and OK. And that will automatically now set my hoop to 4x4. Four four. So when I close the program down and reopen it, it will, it will set it as a 4x4. Four four. But I prefer 8x12. So I'm going to come back to the properties. I'm going to come back to my 8x12 and I'm going to say apply. Now, if I scroll down, my 4x4 four four is still here, so if at some point in the future I know I'm only doing a very small design and I open up Embrilliance Essentials and it's opened as my 8x12, but I know that I'm only going to be stitching something but 4x4, four four, I can come into the Properties box and I can just scroll down and look for my 4x4 four four hoop and select it and say OK. So I'm just going to close that down now because... As I say, I have mine set to 8 by 12. So I hope you found that helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.